Good morning, developers. If you are new to the channel, my name is Rob, and it is JavaScript Tuesday, the day that we look at JavaScript as a language. And we've been going through the updates to ECMAScript. And today we are in ES11 or ECMAScript 2020. And if you need a little bit of background on, on the relationship between ECMAScript and JavaScript, I will drop a few videos in the description. But we are looking at the new keyword, at least in 2020, uh, global this. And this is confusing to talk about because anytime I have to use the word this, uh, in, a, in a formal context, like a keyword or a variable, uh, I also have to use it as an English speaker. So I end up saying this, this, or this global this. To make matters much worse, we have a, a variable now, or a keyword, global this one word, and we have a concept, global space this. <laughs> so I will do my best, please work with me. The screen should be our friend here, uh, generally speaking. Um, but most of this video really comes down to showing you why this is necessary. How, they, how, how this functions across different environments, really what it comes down to is this. Uh, the global this, global property contains the global this space value, which is usually akin to the global object. If we go down to the description, historically accessing the global object has required different syntax in different JavaScript environments. On the web, you can use Windows self frames as well as this, but in web workers, you can only use self and this. In Node, you can't use any of them. You have to use the keyword global. Uh, and then they give a few other cases where inside of functions, how it works. This gives us a uniform way to refer to the top level uh, this, the, the global this. And so I'll give you a few examples. I have a file called globalthis.html, which is uh, script tags. Uh, I, I'm including a web worker here just so I could demonstrate that, which is globalthisworker.js. That is this thing right here, which just has a single console.log. You don't have to do this part, but in order to run a web worker, you have to have an actual host. You can't run it directly from your, from your hard drive. So I have made the simplest express server that I can. You could use something else, but I'm an express guy, so that's what I used. Include express, make an app, use static to load uh, the directory's uh, files statically, and then listen on port uh, 3001, okay? So if I come over to the browser and we do a quick refresh, we get this is our test worker. Alrighty, so to test this out, we're gonna throw, let's put it above our worker there, we'll do console.log this, so that's option one. Save it and refresh, that gives us the window. Inside the browser, the this, the global this, is always going to be the window itself. So this at the top level, meaning not in a function, etc., in the browser is always going to be the window. And you use this all the time, you maybe just don't, you maybe just don't know it. Uh, as a quick for instance here, I can go straight to math.random open close, or I can go to this.math.random. We refresh and we get a, a random number. If you wanna go into a little more detail, this is the, the page for this. A little less than halfway down here is the global context. It can give you a little bit more, a little bit more guidance. But what we have here is this, and I will drop below that three more. We can go directly to the window, we can go directly to self, and we can go directly to frames. And so my line five through eight, do another refresh, those are exactly the same thing. <laughs> and, and we can grab the math object off of any of those. That is confusing, right? That's chaotic. Over JavaScript's 30 year history, as of the making of this video, there was a reason for all of these, but it's just plain confusing now, which one are you referring to? If I copy them and I bring them over and I drop them in our worker and I refresh, well, we get the global this on line three, but window is not defined. So I'll make a note here, this is fine. And I'll, I'll put in parentheses there, uh, different than the window. The reason it doesn't have access to the window, this will, break is because uh, web workers don't have access to the DOM. It doesn't have access to the, to the window object. Um, so I'll go ahead and drop this in there that just to save us. This will break too, and this is fine. So what we had over here for our window, we had four options here. We lose two of those. If we come over to node and I paste them all in and I come back over to our terminal window, the word this is an empty object, <laughs> which is almost never gonna be useful. Uh, window is not defined. That's not a thing in Node.js. If I comment that out, come back over, self is not a thing either. Comment that out. 
and frames is not a thing, comment that out. So what we're left with is simply the, the keyword this is an empty object, which isn't what we want. So I'll make some notes quick. This equals a global object or a, just a simple object, not a thing in node, self is not a thing and frames is not a thing. Uh, as you saw in the documentation there, we would go to the keyword global line 10 and that kicks back, right? We've got clear interval, set interval, set timeout, all the stuff that you can go directly to. Uh, I guess we can do what we did before there. I will console.logglobal.math.random open close and I'll do the same thing without global and it will get a random number for us, okay? across all these platforms. Now you may not do this very often, but you may be in a situation where you're writing a worker and it's not that uncommon to have it running inside of your script tags or rather refer to it from your HTML file or to have it spun off on its, on its own as a worker. And if you use window, it's gonna break when it gets to the worker. And it's really annoying because what you'd have to do is something like this. If type of window equals, uh, we'll do if not equal, uh, the string undefined, then console.log window.math open uh, dot random open close. Else we would do, I guess, the same thing here. Maybe we'd grab self.math.random or whatever. That's going to be okay. Come back over and refresh. Random works, but that's really annoying. Instead of having to do this, we can just always write global this dot math dot random open close console dot log it my line 13 here refresh and it works just fine back over to the window now drop it in here line 11 refresh it is right there works just fine back over to node drop it in here it works just fine that's really what this thing's job is, is across a bunch of different JavaScript environments. You, you only ever have to refer to global this if you're talking about the global this, <laughs> okay? Um, that's really what it comes down to. I, I encourage you to move, uh, move towards it. I'm trying to get away from window, which is really, really hard habit to break. Um, one of the main uses for this under examples here is polyfills. Usually we don't, we don't need to refer to it. When you're, when you're writing a polyfill, and a polyfill would be if you're gonna write a, a function uh, just in case it doesn't exist in the environment that you're in, um, that's when you, you have to explicitly go to the, the global object. That would be a case for it, but they give a few other examples. Most of this we have already done. You can see it has fantastic coverage going back a long ways, uh, back to, to 2020 when it was implemented. Okay, that pretty much does it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Use global this if you're gonna use the global this, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.